He has gathered us all from different tribes and countries and brought us together for His glory. We want to ascribe all praise and glory to this great God who is the only God. There is none before Him. There will be none after Him. There is none beside Him. He rules alone. He is supreme. He is great. He is the great high God. The great high God. All thrones and all powers and all dominion subject under His authority. He is great. There is none like you, God. There is none like you, King. There is none like you. We bless your holy name. This morning we stand before you as your own people, presenting praise and honor unto your name, a people you call to yourself and separated us, O God, and placed your level on us as priests and priestesses. al Uzindale, we didn't deserve it, Lord, but you gave us and positioned us at that place, O God, as a place, O God, where you refer to us as your own people, your own selection, your finest choice, al Izahad. We don't deserve this position, but you place us there. We don't deserve it, but you place us there. Why? Because we are your handiworks. And so David saw this and he said that, Oh my soul, praise the Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Great are you, King. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, King. Great are you. Great are you, Lord. Chosen people in the lake side, your own people from different tribes and country, bringing them together in one accord. Who can do this? But our God, but our great God, lies Zumbale, full of wisdom and understanding. Maluzi Zahade, Makoba Lipai, Haluzi Dale, Makoba Lasaya. Sometimes we don't understand ourselves 
this great God. A shout to the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet as we Amen. bless the name of the Lord and praise Him? Yes, Rejoice Lord. in His presence, hallelujah. Amen.
no, 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 When I think, when I think of all that you have done, and the many things that you would do, Father, I am grateful for your grace, your pride in mercy, and see every day. When I think, do I have some grateful people in the house?
shall continually be in my mouth. Amen.
break out Break our walls down Spirit break out Heaven come down Houston Metro Church. Before we continue on with the service, here are a few quick announcements. PIWC Houston Metro will be hosting the Houston Metro City Crusade from March 8th to the 9th with the theme, Jesus Christ, the Light of the World. The Church of Pentecost, Texas Region will be hosting the 2024 Easter Convention from the 29th to the 31st of March with the theme, The Case for Christ's Resurrection. The venue will be at Embassy Suites at the Denton Convention Center. The room rates are as follows. One person in a room will be $400 for two nights. Two people in a room will be $200 per person for two nights. And four people in a room will be $100 per person for two nights. T-shirts will be ready to purchase next Sunday, which we will wear on Saturday, February 24th for Praise and Worship Night. This upcoming Tuesday, we will be holding morning dew prayers over phone from 5 to 6 a.m. Call-in information is on the flyer. There will be Wednesday Bible studies from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Zoom links will be provided on the platform. Please, you are reminded to donate directly through Zelle or make checks to the following members of our church who have lost loved ones in their respective families. Sister Mary Nyaba, who lost her husband, and Brother Eric Odro, who lost the mother. That's all for today's announcements. 
Enjoy the rest of the service and have a blessed day. Amen. This is how far the Lord has brought us, and we are grateful to the Lord. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Or can you say one more time, thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So this is just the beginning. Um, as part of vision, this is just the first phase. Uh, the first phase is to get a conducive environment where we can bring in all manner of people to Jesus. And so this is just the first phase of the vision. Now we have to work hard to ensure that um, people from all walks of life will love to worship with us and to fellowship in our church. And so this is just the beginning. And we thank God for what he has started. Uh, the Lord who has started with us, we know, will also complete with us. I thought you would say an amen. amen. All right, so keep praying. Let's keep trusting the Lord to move mightily even in our midst. Amen. Uh, let me just share a few quick announcements. Um, we want to announce to all of us the passing of the mother of our elder, Patrick Adams. Elder Adams, uh, our condolences to you. Uh, can you please be on your feet? Yeah. Elder Adams lost the mom in Ghana, so um, we want to announce to the house. Elder, thank you. Our condolences to you. When we close, please reach out to him and then um, just sympathize with him, pray with him. Amen. We can see our brother Eric also back, Eric Odro, back from Ghana. Uh, we thank God for traveling mercies. Amen. Amen. So if you've not yet sent in your donation, please let's do that even as he has arrived. Amen. Amen. Okay. How many of you have started registering for Easter Convention? Easter Convention. Nobody? No registrations? One, two. Okay. Easter Convention is happening. Amen. Yes, Easter convention is happening, and then um, all of us need to register. All of us are going to Dallas. I said all of us are going to Dallas. Amen. Yes, this is a very important moment in our lives as believers when we recognize and we remember the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you don't want to miss out. I think the prizes are okay, right? You saw the prizes? Okay. So um, we are going to post... Um, the link for the registration. They've started allocating the rooms. If you want to have a very good room, please try and register on time. All of us are going. Please, let's gather around and then go together and celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Pentecost 2024 is also happening. Pentecost 2024 is a global city churches conference. It's happening in Germany. And all of us are going to Germany. Amen. 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 So as part of uh, the vision of the church, we are possessing all nations for Jesus. Amen. So um, COP Houston Metro is part of the city churches in the world. And so we are also going to join our, our brothers and sisters also in Europe and across the world uh, to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus as we win the cities for Jesus. So we are going to be sharing the announcements uh, on the page. Uh, let's register, let's plan, and let's go and make Jesus proud. Amen. Amen. All right. I hope you are coming to Germany with us. Yes. All right. Okay. This week is the launch. Amen. 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 I said this week is the launch. Amen. And by the grace of God, you are part of history. You are part of something bigger, something greater. Yes. Um, we are possessing the nations Amen. for Jesus. Amen. 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 God knows you can do it. Yes. That is why he gave you that vision. Yes. All right? And so we put our hands to the wheel. We are going to ensure that God's vision is accomplished. And so church is going to be multiracial. Multicultural, multi generational. Am I in church or I'm somewhere? Yeah. So that is the vision of the church. Let me say again 
This is not an African church. Amen. This is a global church. Amen. And that is where we are heading. And so whatever we are doing, we want to be very conscious of what we are doing. And so all of us have to be committed to ensure that this vision comes to pass. Amen. Amen. Think of any church that you know that is a global church. And that is where we are heading. Am I talking to somebody at all? That is where we are heading. And that will take a lot of hard work and intentionality. What did I say? A lot of hard work and intentionality. We can't keep doing church the same way we used to do church. Everything has to change to conform to what we are doing. Amen. And so you can see we've made a lot of investments to ensure that this vision comes to pass. What we are trying to achieve goes beyond this building. It goes beyond the gadgets that we have. You can see our young people, they are really working so hard. When you go to Instagram, you go to our YouTube and all that, you can see that we are really pushing very hard. Amen. Uh, can you celebrate our young people and our, our AV team for, for the hard work they are doing? Amen. Yes. But after that is said and done, when the people come into there's a certain expectation, right? Yes. There is a certain expectation. They are hyping you. Yeah. Yeah. Jada and my lady. Yeah. Sydney. They are, they are hyping you guys. And so when, when, when they come in, there is a, a lot of heart. The music, the sound, uh, our approach to ministry, everything has to be on point. And that is what we are trusting the Lord for. Amen. Amen. And so the work has just begun. Uh, since last night I've been so burdened, I said, what? Um, it was like a but now this is reality. And so we have to wake up. Yeah. Tell somebody, wake up. Yeah. There is work to be done. Going forward, there's going to be a lot of trainings. A lot of trainings are going to be done to ensure that we are all focused on what we want to do. There's going to be a lot of trainings, a lot of teachings, a lot of conscientizations, so that we, we shed off a lot of the things that we, we used to know. Some of the attitudes, we, we need to shed them off so that we can be in the moment to do what God has entrusted into our hands. And I believe somebody is ready to do that. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. All right. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and work. God, we, we praise your, your name. name, we, we lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God, oh, glorious God, we, we praise your name. on your feet. Oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. We praise we pray your name. We lay, we lay our crown and worship. One more time. Oh, glorious God. Oh,
have a few of the uh, souvenirs. Let's pray over them. Uh, our launch is happening this weekend by the grace of God. And um, it's not just a launch, it's a shift into a new season in our lives. Spiritually, physically, it's a shift into a new season in our lives. And so we want to be very conscious of what the Lord is doing even in this time. Um, prior to this, on Wednesday, I'll be meeting all the youth. All the youth. Where are you? All the youth. Are, are you in the house? They are in the class. Okay, I'm going to meet all of them on Wednesday, 7.30. I'm going to meet all of them. All of us have to be aligned with what God is doing. And then on Thursday, I'll meet um, the men's ministry. I'll meet the women's ministry. Evangelism. We meet all of you. Um, there is a lot to be done. Uh, ministry has changed. The way we do ministry has changed. And so we are going to meet. It's going to be on Zoom. We shall share the vision with you. Uh, vision 2028. And what the Lord wants the church to do. And then together on Friday, our father, the regional head, is going to be here. Apostle John Ofori will be in the house. The, I said an apostle is going to be in the house. Amen. Amen. And so Friday night, all of us are going to be here. And we shall pray. I said we shall pray. You see, if you think this vision is easy, uh, then you have to think again. He said this, certain things cannot move and cannot change except by prayers and fastings. You see, you want to get an Indian. You want to get a Caucasian. You want to get all manner of people into your church. It will not happen by accident. It will take a strong force and power to cause this to happen. And so all of us are going to be here. Who's not going to be here? I want to see those who are not going to be here. Friday. Who's not going to be here? So all of us are going to be here? All right. So all of us are coming, and we shall pray and trust the Lord to give us the land of Houston. Amen. Amen. Saturday as well, we are going to be here to celebrate the goodness of the Lord as we praise and as we worship the Lord. The nations will come and bow down to Jesus as well. And on Sunday, we shall climax our launch. And then the work will begin. That will be the beginning of the work. Amen. Amen. Ministry is very expensive. Ministry is expensive. Uh, church is expensive. And so if you realize, most of the funds that are coming in are going to mortgages and rent and all that stuff. So I, I want to commend the finance team and the leadership for the prudence with which they have managed the finances of the church. Uh, I was telling somebody that ministry is expensive. That is why Jesus himself had had a treasurer. When Jesus came, he had a treasurer. And so we cannot take money out of the church. Uh, but uh, interestingly, anytime money is mentioned in the church, people are agitated. People are uncomfortable. Uh, because the devil knows the power of money and what it can do for the ministry. And the advancement of the kingdom of God. Quickly, let's share this and then we shall pray. And then we shall proceed with today. Amen. Amen. Last week we heard about a certain rich man. Who remembers the certain rich man? Who remembers last week? The rich man. Oh, you are not here? Okay, no. Put up your hand. Let me see if you are here. Okay, so the rest of you are not here. All right. We heard about a certain rich man. Luke chapter 12, 15 to 21. Who had all the wealth and unfortunately instead of passing on the wealth to the next generation he decided to relax break his bounds and then rest on what the lord has given to him and the lord said i'm not pleased with what you've done because everything i've entrusted into your hands you are just a steward and you are supposed to pass it on to the next generation we are supposed to be channels of god's blessings and so because of what the man did, the Lord said, tonight I'm taking your life because I'm the owner of your life. We understood that God is the owner of our lives. Everything we have, everything we will be, we belong to the Lord. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. And so um, in the course of the service, I pray over them, then you can come for us. Amen. And so that man's life ended sadly, even though he was rich, he was influential, um, his life ended very sadly. But that is not what the Lord wants for us. 
He wants us to be a people who recognize who we are in him and what he has made us to be. Realize our purpose and what we stand for. Jesus was teaching us about giving. In Matthew chapter 6, he made a certain profound statement uh, which I will leave with you and then we'll pray. Matthew chapter 6, 24. If you are there, let's read that quickly. And then we, we shall proceed. Matthew chapter 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. He said, either you will hate the one and love the other, or, can we read together, please? You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. And so Jesus introduces us to two masters of this world. He said, these two masters, I was surprised I didn't hear Satan in there. He said, nobody can serve two masters. One of the masters, he said, is me, God. And he said, the other is, and I want you to say it yourself. Is that in your Bible? And so when Jesus was telling us the two masters of this world, he mentioned himself and he mentioned money. And so money is a master. Money is powerful. Now, as a matter of fact, most of the things we do, our lives revolve around money. It revolves around where you stay, uh, your lifestyle, where you live, where you go, uh, what you eat. Everything revolves around money. And so, as a person, you, you, you can only be controlled by two things. It's either you are controlled by God, or you are controlled by money. But God wants us to be under the rulership and authority of the Elohim, the one true God. He said, you can't serve both of them. You can either serve one and hate the other. And so, it's one of two things. It's either you are serving God, you are the authority of God, or you are the under authority of money. That is why the rich man's life ended sadly because he had been under the authority of money. But this is a church that is a giving church. I said this is a giving church. Oh, am I talking to somebody at all? This is a giving church. This is a church that understands the role of money and finances in pushing the kingdom of God. And so this year, I, I am so much confident that you will give more. Am I talking to somebody at all? You will give more. Because the Bible said that where your treasure is, that is where your... Oh, say, connect with me. Where your treasure is, that is where your... Where your treasure is, that is where your... That is where your heart will be. So if you want your heart to be at the right place, let your treasure be there. If you want your heart to be here, let your treasure be here. That is why you can lose a million dollars and you will not faint and you will not collapse. Because that is not where your heart is. People lose stuff and they can never recover again because that is where their heart is. But you see, one of the keys to get your heart in the right place is to invest in the kingdom of God. When you invest in the kingdom of God, you save your heart from many troubles. And from many things. Tell somebody, let your heart be at the right place. Or tell somebody, let your heart be at the right place. Let your, your heart be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I will not have the time to teach about tithe, but we will teach about tithe and giving. Sacrificial givings. Um, there are many believers who do not believe in tithe anymore. Uh, it's as if it's, it's been... Um, taken out of our Bibles, but it's still there. God has not changed. His word has not changed. His word is eternal. It's inerrant. His word does never change. And so many believers now have opened themselves up to many teachings and now do not or they choose not to believe in tithing and sacrificial giving. 
But tithing is scriptural. Sacrificial giving is scriptural. It is God's word. It is a covenant that we have with God. And as a people, we are committed to tithe and to give sacrificially. And so let me use this medium to commend and to congratulate and to thank all of you who are faithful tithers in the house. Amen. Amen. Yes, faithful tithers. You are helping to push the kingdom of God. You are helping to extend the boundaries of the kingdom of God. And as we continue to do this, the Lord will also visit us in a tremendous way. Amen. In the coming weeks, we will be dealing with the issue and the um, teachings on tithing and sacrificial giving. Understand the Old Testament perspective, the New Testament context, and what we are to do in this our time to ensure that what the Lord has said concerning his church and to the building of his church will be accomplished in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Acts chapter 2, 42 to 47. The church in the first century experienced monumental growth and increase on every side. The first century church. When you read Acts chapter 2, 42 to 47, the Bible said, And all the believers were devoted to the apostles' teachings and to fellowship, and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. He said in 43, and a deep sense of awe came over all of them. And the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their possession, their property, and shared the money with those who were in need. They worshipped together in the temple. Day and night, they met in their homes. During the Lord's Supper, they shared their meals with great joy and generosity. All the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. That was the first century church. If what they did gave them the results, we can't change what they did. The word of God is inspired by God. It is God's eternal word, and it doesn't change. And so if the first century church were committed to the teachings of Scripture, were committed to prayer, were committed to fellowship, and because of this, God worked miracles, signs, and wonders. And the Bible said many people were coming to church. Many people were joining the fellowship of the believers. There were testimonies of the miracles and the signs of God because they were committed to the vision of God. In this our time, can we also be committed and devoted to the vision of God? As I said, this is God's vision. Tell somebody, this is God's vision. Or tell somebody, this is God's vision. Or tell another person, this is God's vision. The New Testament church, they gave their all. To whom much is given? Oh, say it with me. To whom much is given? Or to whom much is given? If people sold everything they had, if people gave their all to this commission, we can't do less. If people were devoted, they gave their all, their time, their skill, their talent to ensure that we are here now and are partakers of God's purpose and God's plan, then we can't do less. Tell somebody there is more work to be done. Or tell another person there is more work to be done. Or tell another person there is more work to be done. Now it is our time to make God's plan and God's purpose and God's vision a reality. Until we see the nations come and worship. Until we see the nations bow down and worship. Until we see the whites, the blacks, the Asians, the Caucasians, and all manner of people rush into this building and raise their hands and worship Jesus. We will not stop. We will not rest. Tell somebody we will not stop. Tell somebody we will not rest. Be on your feet. Tell somebody this is just the beginning. Tell somebody this is just the beginning. 
Tell somebody there is work to be done. Tell somebody there are souls to be won. Tell somebody there are souls to be won. Are you ready for what God is about to do? Are you ready for what God is about to do? Are you ready to partner with God to break the boundaries of the church and bring in souls and bring in the harvest? Then I want you to lift up your hand and tell God that, Father, I can't do this on my own. Tell Lord that, Lord, I am ready for what you are about to do. Say that, Father, I am ready. Say that, Father, I am ready. I am ready for what you are about to do. I don't want to stand in your way. I don't want to stand in your way, Lord, I am ready. Tell the Lord that, Lord, I am ready. Whatever you want me to do, I am ready. I'm ready to offer my time, offer my giftings, offer my treasure. I'm ready, Lord, I'm ready. I'm completely devoted to you. I belong to you. In the next one minute, cry unto God that, Father, I am ready. I am ready for what you are doing. I'm ready for what you are about to do. I'm ready for the vision. I'm ready for your purpose. I'm ready for what you are here to do. 30 more seconds, cry unto God that, Father, I can't do this on my own. Cry unto God that, Father, I can't do this on my own. Cry for the help of God. Cry for the help of God. Cry for the help of God. Help us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A charge to keep by heart. A God to glorify. Lift up your hand. One more time, a charge to keep I have. A charge, a charge to keep I have. A God to glorify. A God to glorify. So. launch you want to pray for this week praying for all these souvenirs let this be God's vision indeed let this be God's vision let Jesus be seen all around this launch let it not be any man let it not be any woman let it be Jesus exalted I want you to pray in the name of Jesus as we put on these souvenirs as we share the flyers let Jesus be exalted let Jesus be magnified. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. Jesus has been exalted. Jesus is alive. And he said he will draw men. He will draw women. He will draw people unto himself. Let Jesus be drawn. Let Jesus draw many unto himself in the name of Jesus. You are lifting up prayer in the next one minute. Cry unto God in the name of Jesus. We commit all these souvenirs before you. We commit this auditorium to you, O God. We commit everything, every gadget, every equipment to your hands. Let this be instruments, O God, through whom Jesus shall be exalted. In the name of Jesus, let this be equipment, O God, through whom your son Jesus shall be exalted. In the name of Jesus, the son of God, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, please take your seat. And never die, ye so to sing and feel for the best time. And never die, ye so to sing and feel for the Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to partner with you. To work with you, oh God, to participate in your vision. Father, this morning we can't do this on our own. Help us. Grant us the grace. Help us. Let mercy prevail and abound for us. In the name of Jesus. 
May your son Jesus be exalted. May nations come and bow down and worship you. The one and only true God. We thank you for this vision. We thank you for what you have accomplished already. We thank you for what you are yet to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout a big amen. And clap your hands for Jesus. for tithes and offering. While you can contribute with cash or check, alternatively, you can contribute digitally. For Cash App, you can scan the QR code on the screen or send it to the account PIWC Houston Metro. For Zelle, you can scan the QR code or send it to the account PIWC HM Finance at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet as we give unto the Lord? Amen. Amen. Sorry, quick one, please. Um, something different. Usually we have the bowl here, but we have the offering bowls around. So please note that as you go around, your shares have the bowls over there. So humbly wanted to draw your attention, please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord. 
Amen. If you are here for the first time, please give us a hand. Give us a wave. Let's acknowledge you. First time visitors. Amen. Oh, come on. Please be on your feet. Let's acknowledge you. Thank you for coming. We are so glad that you are here. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Well, the ushers, please reach out to them and then welcome them specially to the house of the Lord. We know you are here by God's purpose and we pray that whatever purpose God brought her here for will be accomplished in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We have Elder John Apia from Bolingbrook, Chicago. Where's Elder John? Okay. Elder John, we appreciate you. Amen. All right. We want to also remind all of us that um, as we launch on Sunday, please do well to invite all your friends and your family. Invite your, your African-American friends, invite your Asian friends, invite your Jamaican friends, all of them. Invite all of them. I believe we have some flyers around. Uh, please, we are going to give them to you. Invite as many as possible as we begin our journey with the Lord. Amen. Please be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Exodus 33, 15, Moses said, if your presence does not go with us, we will not go. Moses realized that this was a very daunting task. He said, Lord, accept your presence. We are not making the move. One minute, I want you to cry to God. Say that, Father, let your presence go ahead of us. This week, let your presence go ahead of us. Your presence will make all the difference. Your presence will make all the difference. This week, let the presence of the Lord proceed ahead of us. In the name of Jesus. When the presence of the Lord is ahead of us, the enemies will bow. Doors will open. Mountains will flee from before our presence. Jericho will come down. In the name of Jesus. Cry unto God, the Lord, let your presence go ahead of us. In the name of Jesus. Let your presence go ahead of us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the presence of the Lord go ahead of us. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. As you send out the flyers, let the presence of the Lord move. Let the angels of the Lord move. As you invite people, let the presence of the Lord move. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. Father, we want to thank you. We appreciate your presence. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to participate in what you are doing. Thank you, O oh God, for your presence that has gone ahead of us. Thank you that this is your vision. Thank you that this is your plan. Thank you that this is your purpose. And as we connect with you, as we partake, as we participate, Father, may you grant us the victory in the name of Jesus. Father, may we not stand in the way. May our mindset, may our attitude, may not stand in the way. Father, give us the grace to know what you are doing, to understand what you are doing, and to connect what you are doing. In the name of Jesus. Let this week be an extraordinary week. Let it be a new season, a new day in our lives as a people, as a church. In the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you, for you have said you will build your church. You will build your church. This is your church. It's not my church. It's nobody's church. You died for this church. And you have said that you will build this church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. This is your word. We believe it. And we receive it. In the name of Jesus. And you shout a big amen. And now may he who is able to do exceeding abundantly above. All that we ask or imagine. May the Lord of all flesh. Cause your enemies to bow before you. Give you a sign. Give you a testimony. Even as you go through this week. May the peace of God that passes all understanding. Guard your hearts, your mind. Even in Jesus mighty name. And you shouted a big amen. Alright, so take your time.